Firestorm surrounding L.A. Clippers owner Donald Sterling. Sponsors pulling away from the Clippers after hearing those racist comments caught on tape. And the NBA commissioner expected to announce the results of his investigation later today. ABC's Ryan Smith has the story. Are you a racist, Mr. Sterling? L.A. Clippers owner Donald Sterling, seen here for the first time since the scandal broke, leaving an L.A. steakhouse Sunday night with his estranged wife, Shelly, and when asked if her husband's a racist... No, of course not. A far cry from the statement she issued hours earlier, saying, quote, our family is devastated by the racist comments made by my estranged husband. Those comments, now notorious. That bothers me a lot that you want to broadcast that you're associating with black people. Believed to be Sterling, speaking to his alleged former lover, V. Stiviano, and obtained by TMZ and Deadspin, they've now caused no fewer than 10 sponsors to either suspend or end their relationship with the Clippers. Do you think Sterling is a racist? As for Stiviano, she was silent Monday while on her way to court for an unrelated DUI case, according to KABC-TV. But her attorney says the recordings are legitimate, though he denies that she released them to the news media. Don't come to my games. Don't bring black people and don't come. The Clippers haven't verified if the voice is Sterling's, but they say he is, quote, emphatic that what is reflected on the recording is not consistent with his views, beliefs, or feelings. Still, the NBA is up in arms. On Monday night, the Miami Heat showing solidarity with the Clippers, leaving their shirts mid-court. And Clippers coach Doc Rivers speaking with the reporters by phone Monday. I can't tell you how upset I am, our players are. They didn't sign on for this. I think the players are going to attempt to defy Donald Sterling in every imaginable way. And the best way to do that is by winning. Dallas Mavericks owner Mark Cuban, however, said while Sterling's comments were, quote, abhorrent, the NBA should not remove Sterling, saying, quote, I think you've got to be very, very careful when you start making blanket statements about what people say and think as opposed to what they do. It's a very, very slippery slope. And now this development, Magic Johnson, whose picture with Stiviano is believed to have set off Sterling's alleged rant, is reportedly interested in buying the team, if it's available. As for the game that's happening here tonight, the LAPD telling us that they will definitely have a presence at the game to ensure everyone's safety. George? Okay, Ryan, we're going to hear from the commissioner before that. Let's get more on this now from ESPN's Sage Steele, the host of NBA Countdown. Sage, thanks for joining us this morning. So much pressure on the commissioner to take tough action. Yeah, so much pressure, and rightfully so. And Adam Stern, he knows that. He knows that this is the biggest t test of his young tenure. Um, but, George, as far as what we think is going to happen, again, it is speculation at this point. I expect Silver to come out and give a full explanation as to what the investigation has entailed so far and what it will continue to entail because this thing is not going away anytime soon. As for uh, actions he might take, certainly a suspension. Will it be indefinite? Will it be a year? Will it be a lifetime? We will see. And then a fine. I, I'm hearing it could be up to two and a half million dollars, so certainly a seven-figure fine to go along with a suspension. But here's what I really hope happens, George. I hope he comes out and fully explains what his rights are as commissioner, what the rights of the league are, and most importantly, I think, what the rights of the 29 other owners are. Because here's the thing. I'm offended. I'm sure you're offended. But is what he said, George, is what he said illegal? And that's the question. And is it's it not grounds illegal for, what is he it said the, and what he believes. Right. And is it in the bylaws? Is expulsion permitted under the bylaws? It doesn't appear uh, that it is. And also the commissioner has to kind of thread a needle here. He's got to come up with tough enough action to pressure Sterling to sell the team, but not enough, not so much that it provokes a lawsuit. Right, and as we know from past history, his track record, Donald Sterling, he's not afraid of lawsuits. He's dealt with several. And by the way, discrimination related, racism charges throughout the past 20 years. So I, I think that he has to be very careful there, and he knows that. So explain to us, though, because we might not like the punishment he hands down. Explain to us specifically what is within his rights and the rights of the owners to pressure him to make it as uncomfortable as humanly possible for him to continue to stay on as owner. For, try to force him out, but I don't know that it will be legally within their rights to kick him out based on what we know so far, George. We will be watching at 2 o'clock. Sage, thanks very much. And Michael, you know, you, you've, played in, you've played in the professional leagues. These players right now really caught in the middle. Unclear what they can do if they don't like the punishment. Yeah, if they don't like the punishment, re re what really can they do? If anything, you're going to play, not for the ownership, but you're going to play for your teammates. These guys have worked hard to get where they are, and they're put in a bad situation. So, 
If there's anybody to have sympathy for, it's the player, it's the fans, it's the people who have invested in this team who now see that the ownership that they've invested in really has not invested in everybody else. No question about that.